Hello. I don't know why I put my arms up like this. I don't know what to do with my arms most of the time. Also, let's just go ahead and confront the fact that I could have done something about my fingernails before filming. Yeah. Did I? No. Because uh, quarantine rules, you know? This is a quarantine manicure. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Ever. I hope that's clear by now. <laughs> anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I thought it would be a really funny, interesting, entertaining to do a full face of makeup products from Amazon. First I was going to go with full face of no name brand makeup from Amazon and then that kind of changed a little because I wanted to do full face of cheapest Amazon like cheapest obscure Amazon makeup products I could find. However I had to adapt that slightly because a lot of products uh, weren't going to ship out for like several weeks and I got impatient so I had adapted it to the cheapest makeup products I could find on Amazon while trying to prioritize like no name, off brand, whatever. So some of these products are gonna be like Wet n Wild. I think one's from CoverGirl, one's from Maybelline, maybe a couple from Maybelline. But I did try and prioritize like random, obscure, no name makeup. In any case, it's all like the cheapest of that of its category that I could find. So let's just dive right in because this is not going to get any better from this moment on. Um, this is going to be a mess. Like th I've looked at everything. I have no faith that this is going to turn out well in any way, but hopefully it'll be, uh, hopefully it'll be funny. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and prime my, my lids with this e.l.f. something or another primer. I would also like to note that I have tried exactly none of these products yet. I haven't swatched them. I haven't taken them out of their packages. I have done nothing except, except it from the Amazon Prime delivery guy. Okay, so first up <clears throat> is this eyeshadow palette, Perfixed Beauty Glazed. Perfixed Beauty Glazed. Okay, I don't even, I don't know, I didn't. Perfect Mix Textured Shadows Palette. That's what it says. And then this is, this is the component, if you will. It, it feels really cheap. It was. Um, but the colors look interesting. Beauty Glazed Perfect Mix Eyeshadow. Okay. Perfect mix, perfect. Okay. This was made in China, just in case you were curious. It, that's, I feel like this is a play on words. But, I mean, those colors are really pretty. Let's just go in. We're going to go in with, um, I think I'm going to do each eye differently, just to try and give um, as broad of a review <laughs> of this palette as possible, because it's a lot of pinks and a lot of purples. So I feel like I could do, I could do some, I could do something with this. We're gonna try, we're gonna see. All right, um, hold on to your butts. We're gonna go in first with peachy, which is looking quite more coral on camera than it is in person. But <laughs> pray for me. I mean, that's not terrible. It's a little patchy, if I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, I could do worse than that. Okay, let's try, I think I'm gonna try this brick shade right there. Okay, nothing bad has happened yet, and honestly, the shadows aren't nearly as <laughs> bad as I thought they were gonna be. Shame on me for being judgmental. I am gonna go back in with that peachy shade just a little bit, see if I can soften these edges up. It's coming up way more pigmented on camera than it is in person, but it's not bad. It's kind of a weird salmon color. <laughs> What can you do? I'm gonna try to deepen this up a bit with this Marin shade right here. This is all just mixing together. Okay, there is like a skin tone shade in here. It's called Khaki. I feel like it's pale enough for me. I'm gonna see if I can't make this just a little bit softer on the rough edges. Okay, that worked all right. Honestly, I thought this was gonna go way worse. This is quite, um, 
underwhelming. I thought this was going to be a train wreck. I'm kind of disappointed that it isn't. <laughs> There's still time. I've already looked at the concealers and I already know they're neither shade that I purchased. I accidentally got two and neither one of them is going to work um, for me personally. So um, <clears throat> that'll be entertaining. I guess it's time to pick up one of these shimmery shades and just see. Let's go with Dubai. This shade right there. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, wow. Look at... Maybe I'm just an asshole for thinking this was going to go so poorly. Oh, wow. What is... What is happening? Why is this going so well? I mean, at this point, I better just not wake up with like an eye infection tomorrow. <laughs> okay, but in an effort to keep up with trying as many colors as possible, I'm going to try this blink shade right here. Honestly... I feel like the biggest dick. I really was so sure this was going to go so, so badly. And it's not. And I apologize. I guess I'm kind of a dick. Beauty Glazed is the brand. Okay, it says beautyglazed.com on the back of this palette. Also, it says Beauty Glazed, don't test it in animals. <clears throat> Which is really really making me believe that statement right there. Just, I don't, yep. Don't test it in animals. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Wonderful. Grand. This will be fine. I stand corrected. I'm truly feeling like a jerk for being so critical. Okay, well that went well. I guess I'm going to move on to the other eye now. Okay, for the other eye, I guess I'm going to try this bisque shade here, which I don't know any... This bisque shade right here. It's being really pink on camera, but it's a lot dustier mauve color in person. I'm going to go back in with that khaki shade just above this. I think I'm going to go in and try and deepen up that crease just a bit with... I'm going to try Coco. I don't know that it's going to be deep enough, so if it's not, I'm just going to go back into that mirror shade. But we'll try. Okay. I mean, what the hell is happening? I have tried name brand palettes that were more expensive than this that did not have the pigmentation that this cheap ass palette from Amazon has. I swear to God, I better not wake up with an eye infection tomorrow. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try one of these shimmery shades. I'm going to go in with this one, Rosy, right here, right? I'm going to go in again with this, not again. I'm going to go in with this shade Chrome right here on the inner corner. Oh, that's really gold. Okay. I thought incorrectly that this would be a lighter shade, but it isn't. It's very gold. I guess it's just so reflective it looked lighter. I mean, I can't really say anything negative at all about this. I stand corrected, Beauty Glazed. My apologies, sincerely. Okay, I'm gonna go in on my lower lash line with Scarlet right here. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brick shade again. It is getting pretty muddy on my lower lash line. Like it's not, there's no distinction between the two colors, which is a shame, but honestly, the only th bad thing I can say so far, I guess I'll go back in with this Marin shade and see if I can deepen that up just a bit. That worked fairly really well. There's not a whole lot of distinction between the colors, but you know what? It can't all be perfect, can it? Okay, I'm gonna go back in with Bisque on the other eye as well, and then back in with Coco. It just kind of all blended together, didn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that good for the eyes right now. All right, this is Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I realize this is not obscure. This is one of the things I couldn't really find a good, like, random, completely random Amazon pick that wasn't going to take three months to get here, so. Okay, but can I open it? Yeah. On the plus side, I have never tried this, so I have no idea what I'm in for. That's an interesting consistency. Oh, that's just straight up silicone. That's what that is. Oh my gosh. Oh, this feels, oh, weird. Um, this feels like, and smells like, Benefit Professional, except slipperier. 
This is incredibly slippery. Next up is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Shell Ivory. I heard, I'd never tried this, I heard it smelled like straight up paint. Let's see. Yep. Well, at least that shade looks okay. Oh yeah, the paint smell is really coming through. <laughs> I'm not necessarily crazy about the way it's sitting on my face though. Maybe it's a primer, who knows. In person, it's not that significant, but this looks like clay on my face. Good. Okay, I have two concealers, neither of which do I have high hopes for. Um, this one is just obviously too peach and too dark. And this one looks like clay. This one is LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory, and LA Girl, I have to tell you, that is not Classic Ivory. That is Salmon Pink. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then this one is Maybelline New York Dream Illuminator Corrector. Oh, excuse me. Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer. That was, I guess, the French side. Mm. Brightening Creamy Concealer in the shade 10 Fair. Well, so... What I could do is try this as a color corrector and the other one as a concealer. This isn't gonna go well. See, this is what I'm talking about. I knew the wheels were gonna come off eventually. Here it is. I'm just gonna use a very sparing amount because this is too dark, but maybe, maybe this has a future as a color corrector. Okay, so it actually does work fairly well as a color corrector. Would you look at that? All right, let's try this brightening creamy concealer. <sighs> Okay, not, I mean still, not the worst. My face looks like clay in person right now. Just like straight up clay. It's not, it's not cute. I have two highlighting sticks here, shimmer sticks, from Magical Halo Cosmetics Pro. It's just one and two. Shimmer stick, one and two. So let's see. Maybe we'll try one on one side and one on the other just to keep up with the theme, how about it? Okay, so that is shimmer stick number one which is very pink, and shimmer stick number two, which is very gold. I mean, thankfully on camera, <laughs> it just looks like shine. I don't really see a whole lot of color on my face now, so that's okay, that's all right. All right, so that's shimmer stick one. We're gonna try number two on this side. This feels like straight up just grease. Well, okay, well, Moving right along then. I'm not even gonna try to pronou pronounce that because I don't think that's a word. C-I-B-B-C-C-I. -C -C -I. I'm not I'm not gonna embarrass myself like that. So um, sorry in advance if that's what you were here for. I have to say this packaging is pretty nice. Came with a little mirror and a little pad. However, unfortunately, I already can tell this powder is way too dark and it says it's translucent and there is no damn way. All right, just gonna only set my under eyes because I don't think anything else needs it. But. Yep, it's too dark. Great. I have this old school cover girl cheekers <laughs> in the shade 183 Natural Twinkle. <laughs> this is going surprisingly well. I for sure thought this was going to be an absolute dumpster fire. I, I know I seem disappointed and I guess maybe I kind of just a little bit am just because I really thought this would be way funnier if it sucked. <laughs> what can you do? It's working fine. Who knew? Who knew there were treasures like this on Amazon? I sure didn't. Man, we're 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 almost through this. Okay, this is the NYX Makeup Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso, which is my favorite shade for most of their other eyebrow products. I have never used this. I have never used any of these products ever before. Once I realized I couldn't get everything um, the Obscure brand route, I went for cheapest and something I had never tried before. Really dark, really dark, really dark. But not bad. What is left? I did get also some NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Never tried this either. How many times am I gonna say, I've never tried any of these. That brush looks like it doesn't have anything on it. All right, well, it's also a humongous brush. I don't know who needs a brush that big for their eyebrows. I remember everybody was freaking out about the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel having a big brush. Look at that sucker. That thinks that's for eyebrows? 
Okay, I'm gonna go in. I got, I meant to grab, thought I grabbed like a brown eye, eye mm, eyeliner, because black is a little bit harsh, but a kit. Black's all we got. Oh, oops, oops, oops. This is Maybelline Tattoo Studio Liner Deep Onyx. Next up, this is uh, <clears throat> Vivian Sabo Paris Cabaret Waterproof Volume Mascara. Oh, so I have these little wands. You can barely see the little bristles on there. All right, well, volume is not what I would call that. <clears throat> You just get closer so you can see the difference. Um, that's not, that's not what I would call volume at all. It's not volume at all. Okay. Um, I can tell you one thing. I'll never be using this mascara again. Highly unlikely. The volume, where, where Vivian Sabo, where? Wow, I have never seen my eyelashes so clumped together in my life. <laughs> I guess that's that's what Vivian Saba's impression of volume is, is just frozen little spider leggies. And if you get that joke, good for you. Okay, here's the fun part. <laughs> I found, um, how many are in here? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten liquid lipsticks. And I think this was $12. Um, DNM Multicolor Limited Edition Matte Liquid Lipstick. I did not care about packaging at all. So maybe that means the product is just that good that you can put it in a boring ass box and nobody will give a shit because it's that amazing. I have so many different shades. Oh. Didn't realize the back of the bag was white. I have so many different shades to choose from. I couldn't resist. Um, okay. I'm not sure why this bag is resaleable, but it is. What one, what should I go with? This says lip gloss and this says liquid lips, matte liquid lipstick. The packaging says matte liquid lipstick. But then the component says lip gloss. Do all of them say lip gloss? They all say lip gloss. Uh, oh. Okay. All right, is this lipstick or lip gloss? Well, it looks, well, I guess we'll see if it dries down. Oh. I think that was trying to smell like chocolate. I can see I can see my lip color showing through, so maybe I'll do another coat. That's not bad. Hmm. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but can you see how uneven that is? To be fair, I'll put another coat on. Let's see. Nope, that somehow made it. Oh my god, that made it so much worse. <gasps> do you? Oh no no no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I just won't let my lips touch while it dries. Okay. Well, so I can't touch my lips back together if you, if I, oh God. My teeth look really white. All right, I've got two face mists by Nabia. One is for Boost Boost Radiance and Hydrate, and this is Glow and Hydrate. Which just seems like the same thing. Radiance and Glow seem like the same thing to me, but whatever. Okay, we're not gonna be hypocritical over here. Um, forget it, let's try them both. One says Pearl and Diamond, and there says Rose and Rosemary Leaf. I don't see any shimmer in either, well, in this one, let's see. Is my radiance boosted? All right, let's try the rose one for, why not? That one was Navia Pearl and this one is Navia Rose. Okay, I can barely smell some rosemary. All right, I can't really tell if those have done anything. Last thing now are these ridiculous eyelashes that I picked up. Oh, and they are huge. 
All of them. Which one's Jolly Jeans? This is VGTE. I think I'm gonna go with these second from the top. All right, well, so that's now everything done. These lashes are giant um, and were a little bit tricky to get on. That's everything, uh, that's everything. So let's, let's do, let's do a recap, I guess. These lashes are huge. These are probably the biggest lashes I have ever put on my face ever. And my eyes just started streaming as soon as they touched my lashes. So I'm sure that's um, great. Anyway, all right, so let's start at the beginning, shall we? Um, this palette that I try to, try to talk shit on, um, honestly, is it the most amazing thing I've ever used? No. But is it the worst? Also, no. I mean, ugh. I mean, are some of these shades similar enough that they are a little bit redundant? Probably. But these shimmers are um, really nice. I mean, all the shimmers are really nice. So, um, I really, I really can't complain. I feel like I would just be, I mean, it looks fine, but, um, if this doesn't stain horrendously and I don't get some kind of crazy eye infection from this, I think this was $12. There are 18, 17 shades in here. I don't, I'm probably going to try this again just because like, I mean, why not? So that was good job, beauty, beauty glazed. I have questions about the name of your brand, but so far so good. Okay, what was next? This baby skin instant pore eraser. This felt really gross <laughs> putting it on. I did not like how slippery this was. This was incredibly slippery. It smells a little bit like gasoline, but I bet this is a really, really inexpensive dupe for benefit. Professional. I mean, I'm, this is not new. So like if you don't, it's not like I'm, you know, that's groundbreaking news over here. So will I use this again? I don't know. I really don't. I don't, I'm not crazy about the way that it felt, but maybe, maybe, maybe. What was next? This damn wet and wild paint. I mean, foundation. I don't see a future with me in this. It just, in person, in person, it looks like clay on my face. It looks fine on camera, but in person, it is not. It just looks like clay. Maybe I'll try it with another primer under it. Maybe it's the primer that is doing the the clay factor here. I don't know. I love Wet n Wild, but I just don't think this is it. I might give it another chance. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, this. Maybelline Dreamy, oh no, excuse me, Maybelline Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer is just not light enough for me. Um, and this is fair, and I am translucent. Like you can see, I'm sure you can see the difference in color from my face to my neck. Fair? I mean, it depends on the range, I guess. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Probably won't be using that again, though. That's probably, that's probably, mm, that's a, it's probably a no. Um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal, though, this guy, I'm probably going to hang on to and try as a more inexpensive color corrector, because I usually use the Becca, and that thing was like 40 bucks, I think. It's great. I love it. But if this is an inexpensive work around, then, um, I'll give this another shot. Oh, these highlighter sticks. I mean, I can't say anything bad at all. So sure. I'll give them another try. Why not? I like cream products, so I'll probably give this another shot because I mean, they look nice. They look nice on my skin too. So they don't look gross on my skin. So sure. I'll probably give those another try. I love a good cream product. So why not? Oh, this powder. This is a, not a chance. This is way too dark. And I don't tend to powder anything on my face but my under eyes. 
And this is dark. This is not translucent. That is a lie. Um, this is probably going to get given away. I'm not... It, I don't even know what that name is. So I'm probably just going to give this away. This CoverGirl blush is not bad. Cute little thing. I haven't used one of these since I was in high school. And I graduated in 2005. If that gives you any frame of reference for time. Um, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I think it's actually probably a perfectly nice shade. It's a little like frosty pink for like my preference generally, but I mean, it's not bad at all. So I'll probably, probably will use this again. Why not? This eyebrow gel by NYX, the NYX eyebrow gel. I'm curious if I would like it better in a lighter shade just because it is so dark, but it does not look terrible with how dark my natural it doesn't look terrible with how dark my natural hair color is so yeah yeah why not this brow gel I mean my brow hairs are still standing up more than they naturally do so that's positive they're not standing up as much as I would like for them to and not as much as I get out of even another NYX brow gel I just wish it Control, when you have a name like Control Freak, I wish it really did, like, hold those suckers up where I want them. Is it awful? No. But Control Freak makes me feel like you're gonna, like, wherever I put those suckers, that's where they're gonna stay, and they didn't. Slightly disappointing if you're growing off a name, but performance-wise, okay, fine. I feel like that's the standard is, this is all okay. This damn mascara... I don't know who this is for. This is the least impressive product I used today. I mean, by a long shot, this is not. Mm -mm. Not impressed, not even a little bit, um, not even at all. So, no thank you. These lipsticks, I mean, I got a million of them. Look at, oh, <clears throat> Look at all these. I mean, there's, oh, look at all these. There's so many colors. So many. I probably, I mean, the second coat of that darker one, mm, it's not, it's not perfect, but I've definitely tried other brands of really, really dark lipstick that are patchy like that as well. I think it's just the darkness of the lipstick in general is just hard to get it completely opaque but I mean it's really sticky weird that was really tacky weird anyway um I'll probably give these another shot just because why not I have all these colors and I don't want to be wasteful so I'll probably try them all because why wouldn't I do that um, I will say, I feel like, actually, for science, let's just do this. Let's just, let's just do this for science. All right, so I was trying to think of what this packaging made me, I, I was trying to remember what this packaging made me think of. So this is the DNM lip gloss. And then this is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, they're basically the exact, exact same packaging. Like, like exact same. I mean, I'm... I didn't do it. <clears throat> I'm going to try them all, probably. But, um, I mean, Nick's, you might want to look into that. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Okay, what's left? Um, these face mists. I'll probably try these again. I like face mists, and I, I w wasn't, like, amazed by either of these, but I wasn't mad at it either. I mean, I like face mist and when it gets hot outside, I will keep probably one, maybe one of them in the fridge for a nice, nice pick-me-up. Who knows? I mean, 
maybe I'll look back at, you know, the before and after of using it and being like, oh wow, that really did make a difference. I mean, you already know because you're watching it. Sure, screw it. Why not? I mean, I want to, I mean, I don't want to waste things. So maybe I'll give them to my roommate. That would make her really happy. I think that leaves these damn gigantic eyelashes. These suckers are huge. These are huge. And honestly, probably not gonna get that get used. Like I, I these I might just like put somewhere and forget about them because they are incredibly flimsy and giant. And I just don't I just don't you know if you were getting into like drag these were super, super inexpensive. So I feel like for that, it might be beneficial to have really large, inexpensive eyelashes. These are probably, these and the mascara are probably my least, least favorite. I mean, honestly guys, I really thought this was gonna be a train wreck. I kinda went into this hoping for a little bit of a train wreck because I thought it would be funnier if this was a mess. And it isn't. It isn't a mess at all. Uh, I'm not crazy about these eyelashes, but really, I mean, that's really, that's the worst thing I can say. These eyelashes are not for me, dog. But everything else is nice. So, damn. I, and I will tell you right now, nothing that I purchased was more than $12. I think the palette was $12 and the face mist, the face mists came together. They were a twofer and they were $12. Everything else was under 12. Oh, and the, the liquid lipstick pack was $12. But I got 10 shades for $12. Um, I got 18 eyeshadows, 17, excuse me, 17 eyeshadows for $12. Two face mists for $12. So that's 36 bucks. Everything else was like anywhere from like two to six dollars. I think all together, everything was a hundred bucks. So it's definitely not bad. And if out of all of that, the only things that are getting like definitely passed up on are this powder, this concealer, and those eyelashes. Everything else I'm gonna try again. So this is fun, um, I guess. It would be interesting, maybe, if not cost preventative, maybe I should look at like cheapest makeup on Ulta. That could be fun. I bet that would be a train wreck. I bet that would be a train wreck. And let's be honest, everybody kind of wants to watch a little bit of a train wreck from now and then. I mean, don't lie. Don't lie about it. You know you do. So yeah, I mean, this is not how I saw this going. To be perfectly honest, I'm shocked at how well this went. I uh, <laughs> I definitely thought this is gonna be way worse. I mean, I guess I'll see how this photographs and I really, after I take pictures of this, I am totally gonna just drag my finger across my face just to see what happens and I guarantee you this is all gonna slide just because of how slippery that primer is. But honestly, I'm not gonna sit here and be an asshole and be super critical. This looks really nice. I am super, super, super impressed by that eyeshadow palette. I was such a dick in the beginning. I thought that was gonna be a big pile of trash. And that's the best thing that I tried today, to be perfectly honest, so. All right. I guess until the next train wreck, guys, um, I'll be seeing you.